Hey everybody, great to see you for this week's Sunday School lesson. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Cindy Burns. I love working with children and families at Pulaski Heights United Methodist Church. Grab your Bible and let's um, look up a verse. Today's lesson, this week's lesson, is one verse and it's in Proverbs. So Proverbs, as y'all know, is in the Old Testament. And we're going to look at the 16th chapter, 24th verse. And so we're, the lesson is this one verse, but it's an amazing verse. And I'm excited to visit about it and read, um, and read it. Chapter 16, verse 24. Pleasant words are like a honeycomb. Sweetness to the soul and health to the body. Now we want to take this verse as we enjoy doing with our Bible lessons and we want to take this verse and we want to look at it in three ways. The heads, with our heads. What are the facts? We want to look at it from our hearts. How do we take this verse, this scripture, and take it from our head to our hearts? Just in our souls, in our being. And then the third step is the action. How do we take this and how does it become active in action as we are the hands and feet of Jesus? So let me read it, the verse again and then we'll just go over some questions. The verse is, pleasant words are like a honeycomb, sweetness to the soul and health to the body. Now, what kind of words are like a honeycomb? Pleasant words, exactly. Kind words, pleasant words are like a honeycomb. What do these words, these kinds of words, do for the soul? Sweetness for our soul. What do these words do for our body? health for our body. God is so amazing that God made us that when we read this scripture, we see that when we use pleasant words and kind words, of course it's going to be a blessing to someone who receives them. But God made us so that we have the blessing as well. And so I just love that and I'm really thankful for that. So then when we think about taking this Bible verse and putting it into our heart, we're saying to ourselves, gosh, everything that I say makes a difference. Words make a difference. I want to remember that. I want to be in prayer before I speak. I want to really have an awareness of how I use words. And then I think if we take it into action, It'll really change how we do use words. And I want to share with you something that my friend Bella Brown loved. And she shared it with me. And I think maybe you can see it. We'll see if you can see it. Anyway, I'm going to read it. So even if you can't see it, it's attached to the lesson. And there are two attached to the lesson. And Bella loved this. And I keep it taped, a smaller version, taped by my desk. And so I appreciate so much that she gave this to me, shared this with me. Before you speak, think. Before you speak, think. Is it true? Is it helpful? Is it inspiring? Is it necessary? Is it kind? If we can answer those questions before we speak, what a blessing. Jesus called us. Jesus said to love one another, and a way to love is with our words. So I hope everybody will print these off. You've got yours is like this and like this, and we've got the lesson, so print it off. Look at it. Think about it. Memorize that Bible verse in Proverbs. And let's remember, words do matter. And I really believe that we can change 
our world when we're aware of our words. So join with me in prayer. Gracious, loving God, please help us to be aware of our words. Help us to remember that words do matter and that we want to be a channel of your love and your peace in all that we say. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much. Have an amazing rest of the day.